Everyone admired, permanently lazy, permanently tired. A leg at every corner, balancing its head. It's tail to let you know which end it wanted to be fed. Riley slyly said we'd underrated it. Why not train it? And then he took a rag, rubbed it, scrubbed it, oiled and imprecated it. Got it to the post, but when the star to drop the flag, oh, where was Riley? Pushing it, shoving it, shushing it, Hogan, Logan, every man in town. They lined up, attacking it, shoving it, smacking it. They might as well have tried to pull the town hall down. The donkey was eyeing them, openly defying them, winking, blinking, stepping out of place. With Riley reversing it, everybody cursing it. The day Delaney's donkey ran the half mile race. The muscles of the mighty don't ever know to flinch. They could move the donkey quarter of an inch. Delaney lay exhausted, hanging round his throat with the grip just like a Scotsman on a twenty dollar note. Hagen and Fagan, two students of psychology, swore they'd shifted with some dynamite. They bought it, they brought it, and then without apology, the donkey gave a kick and blew the doctors out of sight. And where was Riley? Pushing it, shoving it, shushing it, Hogan, Logan, now Mary Ann McGrath. She started poking it, grabbing it, choking it, it kicked her in the bustle and it laughed, hee ha. So they seized it, they harried it, they picked it up and carried it home, they achieved it, steered it to the winning place. The bookies, they all threw aside and committed suicide. The day Delaney's donkey won the half. My heart. 